If you have the ThinkPad Stack Assistant app installed, you're ready to connect your Android device to the ThinkPad Stack system. If your device uses Windows or Apple iOS, you should go back to the playlist and select the appropriate video. First, let's make sure the ThinkPad Stack is stacked correctly. There are two currently used configurations for all four devices to interact at their best. One way is to put the speaker on the bottom. If you put the router on the bottom with the speaker on top, you will be able to reset your router if you need to without disrupting power to other units. If a hard drive is needed, it will always be installed on top of the router. Once you have stacked the deck, you will want to connect the wireless router, making it the hub for device and internet communication. Your wireless router will work fastest if you connect it to the ethernet cable you use for internet access. Press the power button on the router. The power bank and hard drive will automatically power on also. The wireless icon on the router will blink yellow while it adjusts and blink green once it accesses the internet. Connecting a USB power cable or AC adapter to your power bank will allow you to work longer without interruption. Open the settings app of your Android device. Make sure your wireless LAN is activated. Select the stack 2.4 GHz name if your signal has to go through a lot of walls, or stack 5 GB if there are a lot of devices competing for bandwidth. Click the Connect button. Open the ThinkPad Stack Assistant application. If this is the first time you are using your router, or from a reset, click the Initialize button. You will be prompted to create a user password. Re-enter the password again, tap the Done button on your touchscreen keyboard, then click Next. If you will be the administrator, enter another password, then confirm it by retyping the password again. Click the Next button. The router will need to reboot before you can use it. Click the Restart button. Once it finishes initializing, click the Ready to Go button. Open the wireless controls for your Android device. Select either the Stack 2.4 gig or Stack 5 gig name. Enter the password, then click Connect. Go back to the Stack Assistant and press the Login button. Enter your administrator password. If you want to be logged in automatically from now on, check the box. Select Login. You will see icons for each stack device that is powered on and connected to your Android device. Select the router icon. This page shows the bandwidth you are using and has some icons for additional information. As an administrator, you can control numerous settings for your router. Select the geared settings icon. If you need to change how your stack router accesses the internet, select Switch Network Access. Press the back arrow if no changes are needed. If you want your router to access the internet remotely, select Wi-Fi Extend. You will need to disconnect your ethernet cable and press Confirm to enable the Wi-Fi. Select Wi-Fi Settings if you need to change any of your router names, the encryption type, or your password. Channel settings will allow you to switch between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Unless you are an authorized technician, we suggest staying out of the advanced settings. You can set your router to turn off after a preferred amount of time if no one is connected and no data is being transferred. If the authorized connection switch is turned on, the router will be open and unsecure for three minutes. This would be good for controlled environments where numerous people need quick access. You can update your assistance software, upgrade the router's firmware, reset the router to factory settings, or restart the router. Administrator settings will allow you to change the admin password. If you press log out, just confirm. The wireless router can be used alone or with other stack devices. To see how, go back to the playlist and watch individual videos for the Bluetooth speaker, hard drive, and power bank. This video has been a quick setup guide. For more detailed information, please refer to the downloadable ThinkPad Stack Assistant User Guide located at www.lenovo.com forward slash stack.